I just got word 45 minutes ago that an Indianapolis pastor has crossed into Poland after fleeing Ukraine today. All of this comes after Russia reportedly fired 85 missiles at Ukrainian power facilities, blacking out many facilities there. We're seeing damage from Tuesday's Russian missile strikes across Ukraine, an attack prompting Indianapolis pastor Steve Zanako to leave the country after helping Indianapolis-based mission to Ukraine. Do you fear for your safety, Steve? Um, I would say uh, it got a little tense and I'll be looking forward to crossing the border. Zanako has been on the ground four days, showing us damage from a previous missile that hit a school. Because you can see that a secondary school was completely destroyed and had no military value and yet still was struck by a missile. Zanako told us Indianapolis-based mission to Ukraine recently moved their office into a bomb shelter so pregnant women and children with disabilities will feel safer in seeking help. Uh, mission to Ukraine is a light in the middle of a really dark place. And there are people that knock on their door for everything from food to help to get doctors to um, government support. They serve every one of the poor. Zanako says Ukrainians are feeling a range of emotions with this latest attack. And so they are resolute, standing together, and they're really sad and yet unshakable in this resolve to win this. Zanako says mission to Ukraine has never been more important. Now, tomorrow, the NATO Secretary General is going to chair an emergency alliance meeting. This after leaders in Poland say a missile, probably made in Russia, fell in the eastern part of Poland. Two people were killed today. Now, if it was, in fact, a Russian missile, this would be the first time in the war with Ukraine that Russian weapons came down on a NATO country. Now, the Ukrainian president called this strike today a very significant escalation of the war. The president of Poland said tonight the U.S. is sending experts to investigate the site, all a part of a joint operation. But just tonight, President Joe Biden says it's unlikely that missile was actually fired from Russia, but pledged U.S. support for Poland.